I haven't really been recording many talks lately, especially ones that have to do with anything that's my, pers my personal life. But today's one of those days where I just feel like I have to say something about it because maybe other people can relate to it. My son Leo is only nine, and I haven't really got to spend much time with him for five years now. And I go to Dollar General all the time to do deliveries, and there's this sign of a little kid walking a dog, and he's got this little, this confused look on his face, like that look that a young kid only has because they're young and it's like they can't know this stuff yet because they're too young, they haven't experienced it, but they're wiser than they seem to be. So when they hear something that they haven't heard but already know, they have this certain look on their face. And that's the look that I miss with Leo. It's that look of discovery. It's that look of growing and, and learning. It's that look of, you know, going, just, just simply taking him for a walk with a dog and, and seeing maybe the dog running off into the woods and him falling after it and running into something new. Because I don't get those. I don't get those little tiny things that everybody else gets to have. You know, you may think that's nothing at all, but when all you get is a visit at your mom's house, watch a movie, eat a meal, and then they go home every time, you don't get to know your own family. You don't get to know your own kids. And I've gotten over my Dan ego, but when I have to stay here and be in this life, I don't have to, but I choose to stay here and be in this life, my family is still there. So not having any closeness with them that, I, that I've always wanted is still a difficult thing to deal with. Whether I've experienced what I've experienced or whether I've, it, it, I've met God, I know God, and that doesn't mean much to anybody. It means everything to me because I know something that other people don't because if they knew, they wouldn't be confused. So when I say I know something that other people don't, and they're like, no, you don't, I'd be like, well... Um, we're just in two different places then, because I'm completely happy with everything in my life. And I understand why there are certain things that aren't a certain way. And I know that when I feel unhappy, that's just my ego wanting something. And I'm past that level. So yes, I can feel feelings. I'm more into my feelings. But I'm not letting them take con control of me. I have that advantage. And the only thing is, and well, this isn't the only thing. It's just that's a, a way to preface the next sentence. What I'm trying to figure out is, what am I supposed to do with my time now? Sit around loving God? I already do that. I don't have to sit around doing it. Trying to help people? I try to do that. And nobody wants it. So I'm just confused as what I'm supposed to do. Why am I here? I mean, I'm here to spread the word of God. I know that. But how do I do it in a way that is helpful? Or that people actually respond to? Either way. I love my kids, and I miss that life somewhat. I don't like knowing that not one person seems to care about my ideas or how I'm doing. But that's fine at the same time. It just really shows you how things really are. And why wasn't it like this before? Because I played along with everything and I acted like all these things mattered. And now that they really don't, no one else seems to care about me because I'm not part of that world. They are all part of mine, but I'm not part of any of theirs. That's the difference. Because I include oneness, everybody is included. Even the ones who treat me like nobody or nothing. Because they're included. With them, I'm nothing. And that's it. Anyway, that's it for now. It'll probably be a while before I record something again, but I figured it's been a while. And I really miss Leo today. All my kids, for that matter. But that picture just had me thinking about him. So, until next time, peace and love.